time for the fletching skill guide. After all, I love my Ravens, Zap IQ, and welcome to another video of Wounded 3 Skill Guide. This skill guide is about fletching, after all, in DSO, and fletching is like a skill that you can actually make some arrows and bow, also crossbows in DSO. And then, you got, and then you got the one ammo, ammo fletching game you can make, and those are the darts. And after all, and I gotta say, say so. Anyway, let's move on to the tips and tricks of fletching, and also the methods is for it. And then I'm going to show you the words about fletching in DSO. So before I move on to the tips and tricks about fletching, I'm going to sit for a minute. You are going to pause it of my skills that has checking out. Go ahead. And with that, let's move on to the tips and tricks first. And this is actually the first tip and trick after all. So this is called a a fletching outfit. You can actually get fletching XP from each outfit you have. But you have one percent of each outfit all together. You get five, and then plus the accessory, you get six percent of fletching XP. It's like a bonus XP if you don't like uh, using burn don't like doing double XP live every time but anyway another one you can take on for fletching is is a portable Fletcher so the portable Fletcher is like a something original I don't have it with me right now but they're actually portables that allows you to fletch bows crossbows bows um, portable logs, logs, arrowheads, endless arrowheads, arrows, bullets, and also darts. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do darts too. And then you also have a fletching potion, which requires the potion. It's like levels. 50 or 60 above herbal level oh and so and and then there's one more one you use and that is the wingo instant sick so that instant sick can actually give you like a bonus of unshrinking bows for 10 minutes and it's you gather a lot of those Instant six, like first of all, you need two two logs, then you craft them into instant six, hit them with the ashes, and then hit them with the herb of your cho choosing, which is actually Ringo for fletching, and that should be pretty much it. It, I gotta say, if you want to get better. Uh, bonus like much quicker bonus thing you can get the total instant six that gives you bonus XP for 10 minutes there's the wisdom ores us going to stealing this is the wisdom ore that gives you 2.5 XP for 30 minutes, it's bonus XP, E, and then you also have the the desert platinum. Oh, what? I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't have that. Yeah, I don't. Don't want to do so, but. 
But that's actually a aura that gives you 10% bonus XP for, for an hour uh, at all. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's actually pretty much it for the testing tricks of fletching. Thing. One thing that's actually kind of cool about fletching is if you go under the tab of fletching. Hold on. Yeah. Is you can actually do this. So let's go under other. There. So flet. Is this fletching? Yeah, this, this is fletching. Okay. So fletching actually has these wood boxes, actually. And each wood box is actually kind of cool. You can actually fletch each kind of, any kind of wood box all the way to elder um, wood box. Alex. Yeah, all the way to other wood box. And then they also have these bamboo, bamboo bundles. That's from, that's actually from the arc. They have this, these screen stars. You can make any screen stars you like to make. Make um, if you don't like going to using the ores. These screen stars are actually a lot, actually a lot helpful to to it. And you can look through the wiki to what each screen stars actually do. Do it, I gotta say, because screen star actually like ores for combat and skilling. Screen Star of Imperium is actually for gaining some health. The Screen Star of Element. Uh, let's see, what is one that gives you these three? Yeah, these three Screen Stars give you attack, strength, and magic. So attack, magic, and range. There's a Screen Star that gives you skilling. Thing and these so and then no, where is it? Rock crushing, gem finder finding. So that's a pretty, it's actually pretty cool. It's gonna start with gem finding. This is for, for divination, engine gathering, gathering. I thought that was, I thought that was actually a screen shot for um, XP bonus or or a extra life. But that's actually pretty much it I gotta say about fletching and I'm gonna move on to the methods of them. So let's head there. Next. Okay, so before I move on to the best method of fletching, I just want you know this picture shows you the fletching workshop where you can actually use a fletching workbench and a spinning wheel at all and then right next to it has a bank chest I gotta say so the for the fletching workbench is like you can actually craft bows crossbows arrows and that sort of thing and, and then sometimes chance you can actually make a bow on your own without a bowstring ing and you can actually make some arrows uh, without some feathers uh, or maybe without the uh, arrowheads arrowheads that you need smith at all the bank chance are for your precess uh, fletching and then the spinning wheels is to make the bow strings for flax so definitely unlock full funny teal and do the quest to make, to build the fletching workshop at all. Anyway, let's move on to the first method of fletching. And I'm trying my best to alternate with bows and arrows in these so. So the first one is level one to level 10. You gotta start with the short bow strings. You're gonna make 500 bow strings and 
you need 500 noble logs for short bows. Same thing with the bow strings. You get 5 XP for each one of them. them and make a money profits of five five hundred thousand then and then once you reach level 10 fletching go ahead and make the sh sheer bows to level 20 and the sheer bows are just noble logs too but double that to a thousand then logs and to give you 10 XP for each one of them and you want to keep going to reach level 20 fletching to do the oak shippers at level 20 through 25 but you want to do oak you want to do the oak shippers and then at level 25, you want to do the sheer bows of oak and see here at level 30, E and D cell. Oh, and you want to do the same thing as last time with, with 500 oak sheer bows and 1,000 oak sheer bows. Oh, and the profit is like double of it for selling. So you need oak logs, 500 and a thousand for the shopo and then also the shopo too. I'm pretty sure they get like 15 XP for the shopo and then 20 XP for the shibos of oak. When you're done reaching to level 30, fletching, you want to move on to the willow shopo and then level 35, you want to do the willow shibos all the way to level 40 D and oh actually it's level 35 for well sh sh shoppers and level 40 for shoppers okay that's kind of weird okay that way it says go for it but so at level 35 fletching in willow oh and then move on to shoot bows at level 40 e, you want to make the same process again and but this time with, 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 with willow logs and then when we reach level 40 fletching you could do a thousand it's in well logs to meet the shoe bows and make sure you actually string them all but I gotta say uh, I pretty sure the profit is like double the amount of selling them or triple or but once it once you keep going to, all the way to level 50 fletching you want to start with maple bows. So those are level 50 through 65. So level 50, you get the maple shoe bow. And at level 55, you get the maple shoe bow. Oh, and what you want to keep going to hit, going to hit level. 65 fletching and and me want to double the amount of logs start with 2,000 logs and for sh the shopo and then do 5,000 then or 6,000 logs of maple for the shoe bows O's. it's 10 20 33 50, 90, 66, 83, 100. For the, shoe, for the 
maple one at the hundred for the short bows and for the shoe bows, the hundred and sixty six XP for each one of them. Them and then for many more. Oh, I'm selling them is like maybe like a good amount of two mil or or five mil when you make them all. But we keep going until you reach the lower 65 fletching. And once you hit 65 to 80 fletching, start with the U short bows at 65 and at 70 fletching. You want to do the shoot bows of U. U. Uh, same amount as maple, actually. 2,000 to 5,000. Uh, Mew logs for the Shopo and for the Shopo. Oh, and then maybe you want to straighten them all together uh, in the cell. But Puffis is XP is 150 for the, for the Shopos and 135 for the Shopo. Oh, and the so until you hit lower 80. Fletching, you could do magic bows, and those are at level 80. You could do magic shoe bow, and level 85, you could do magic shoe bows. Those, let's say you want to double that, that amount, so it's up with 5,000 magic logs for the shoe bow. And probably 10,000 lot measure logs for the magic shear bow. You get an XP rating of 166 for the shear bow and 183 for the shear bow of magic. Hey, keep going to hit lower 90 fletching thing, and you want to start with the last two bows. And those are the elders uh, for Shopo and the Shopo at level 90. If uh, the elder Shopo at level 95 for the other Shopo. Uh, and keep going into, until you hit level 99 with those elder bows. And when you make them, they give you a profit of 202 XP for the Shibo and 232 for the Shibo. So, start with making, I say, like a 300,000 for the Shibo, for the Shibo, and then 500,000 for the Shibo of Elder. The, uh, it's a little longer, or maybe a lot longer. It's up to you. You're welcome to to do it. It if you don't if you don't like the process of making bows, you can start with the arrows. A level one fletching, you can do the noble arrows. A level fifteen fletching, you can do iron arrows. A level thirty fletching, you can do Steel arrows at level 45 fletching. You can do mithril arrows at level 60 fletching. You can do addy arrows at level 75 fletching. You can do wound arrows. And I'm pretty sure that's actually the highest you can go up to. Um, because one arrow is actually kind of you cannot make, it's actually dragon arrows. Um, you have to do some, you have to do actually some fighting to gather those arrowheads, maybe dragon arrows. But those are at level ninety fletching actually, the dragon arrows. I want you actually saw not doing the dragon arrows. Do actually the I'm going to bullets. Do. These guys. The Bard Bullet 
bullets. Those are actually pretty good profitable or uh, fletching. You also can do the board tip bullets if you have a high level of Slayer and and then you want to keep going to hit into hit level 99 uh, fletching. So the board bullets are level 51 fletching and then the tip ones ones are level 55 fletching. And, and let's do those two into hit level 99. And I'm pretty sure that's actually pretty much it. It. And there's one more. And there's one more method. Not really. Um. Actually, not really. Okay. That's all the method I have to say about fletching. So let's move on to the wars of them. The ward of fletching. The first one is the fletching skill cape. You can get this skill cape from Catholic Bean with nine hundred with the nine nine K. A just talk to the to the fletching shop and trade it off off to get this skill cape of fletching. I gotta say in these so the fletching skill cape actually gives you prove a chance to make an extra bullet, arrows, and darts. Normally, it's actually kind of cool, but you don't have to make a low amount of ammo for your range weaponing and it's really up to you but that's actually kind of cool but I like that and then I'm gonna give you I'll show you the remote of it go ahead and make your bow and there you go that's the mode for fletching Ing. Another thing about fletching is it's under it's under the scope heads heads and I can't tell which one it is. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's actually invention mining to the crabby no your slayer so roughly that's Strength, Sparky, Player, Magic, Summoning, Ontology, Agility, Construction, that's not it. There you go. Foo. Foo is a fletching skill pet, it's just a feather. Uh, and it's not the best design, it's not the best pet, it's always just a floating feather, so don't even bother getting this fletching pet after all, worse than whenever. Uh, and then finally, don't forget about your expert skill cape, as you know, I've been unlocked by Artemis skill cape in DSO, oh, it's actually Artemis skill, oh, I'm gonna show you the Artemis cape once again with the Artemis hat hat and then I believe there's a mo for it for it go ahead and check it out and there you have it and that's actually pretty much it that's all the skills of Artemis in the so oh but at the end of the skill guide of fletching and, and I pretty much I have nothing else to show up but that's it next month I'm gonna do the skill guide of uh, invention and, and it's gonna be a hard one in the so so I'm going to leave the video here thanks so much for watching and don't forget to comment like and subscribe Join to your events, do follow me on all my social media accounts, and I'll see you next time. Bye.